Okay, this last technique in CSS that I'm going to show you before we actually create a layout, a CSS layout that we're going to use in a Joomla template is this pretty cool technique that I learned from Flexible Web Design, creating liquid and elastic layouts with CSS by Zoe Mickley Gillenwater. And this technique is um, uh, from a chapter four, it's called creating columns with floats and negative margins. So um, it's a negative margin technique and it's really uh, pretty cool and pretty handy. So I'm going to show it to you right now. It's We've got um, basically a three column layout here with a left column and then the uh, main content in the middle and then a right column here. And this negative margin technique that um, is mentioned in Gillenwater's book, she says has some pros versus some cons that will um, make it beneficial to you. So we'll take a look here and one of the things that makes it beneficial is that it helps you to keep your main content div higher on the page than your secondary content or let's say your your menu uh, column or you know other columns like your footer that you want to keep your div with your main content up higher so that spiders uh, robots let's say from Google who are indexing the text on your site will find unique content first core content subject matter related and that will help rank your site higher in Google searches things like that so um, some of the things that she does is first of all um, in this new technique that we're going to learn she takes this div tag, the secondary content div tag. We've got this wrapper that has two divs in it. It's got content main div in it and has this content secondary div in it. Um, and it's they're nested inside of this content wrapper div that has the open div tag here and the ending div tag here. And what she does is she takes the second div tag and she cuts it out. So control X to cut that out and pastes it outside of the content wrapper. So there it is. So now it's no longer in the content wrapper, right? It's outside. So we have content wrapper, content main is inside of it, and then outside of that is content secondary and content, and then div ID left. So I'll hit File, Save, and I'll update that in the browser and see what that does. And as you can see, it totally just, you know, tweaks the, the style, right? This thing's dropping down. It's not supposed to be correct. And then over here, that's dropped down way down too. So I'm using Komodo Edit here to do my edit editing. It's a free editor. And the next thing that she does is, to fix this, she does a few things. One thing she does is she goes to the, the content wrapper div, and she changes it from floating right to floating left. OK, that's one thing. And the width, she changes to 100%. So 100%. So now this content wrapper is with 100% floating left. We'll save it. We'll open up the index.html page in Firefox, refresh it, and see now that this wrapper, right, which is highlighted by the green that you can actually kind of see behind the blue here, takes up 100% of the window in Firefox. Okay, and it's floating left. So you saw this floated to the left. All right, great. Okay, the next thing that um, is done is in the CSS here for our for our HTML file in the content main which is inside the wrapper right in this div she um, gets rid of the float and the the width okay right and what she does is she puts a margin in here and she makes the margin the top margin zero space 25 percent which becomes and then a semicolon very important to end that line with a semicolon uh, 25 percent margin on the right and left and if we hit file save now and we op refresh it in our browser now there's a 25 percent margin on either side of this main content okay so 25 percent of the window on the left 25 percent of the window on the right 100 percent all across the window right in the wrapper but the main content area has 25 percent margins on either side okay and then in content secondary she changes the um, margin left 75 percent 
okay, and instead says I'm going to make the content secondary have a width of 25 percent, okay, and my left column here where my menu is going to go will also, I'm just going to copy this, copy and paste it right over, will also have a width of 25 percent, right, and she gets rid of the previous stuff that was there save that and so now if I hit refresh this secondary content on the right now is on the left okay and it's 25 percent wide right and the left column is 25 percent right wide but they're stacked here they're not falling into place falling up into this content wrapper area which we want the, these other columns these other divs to fill in the space that was created by the margins in the content main area which is in the wrapper div so how she does that is with the negative margin technique and I'll show you that now and what she does is she says okay this content secondary we're going to float it left okay so it's gonna float left right and its width is 25 percent but we're gonna have a margin on the left margin to the left um, of negative 25 percent and there's that negative margin technique so uh, what happens there is I'll save that and show you so that's a margin dash left negative 25 percent and now when we refresh the window the secondary content goes negative so it goes to the left off screen and that pops it out on the right hand side it pops back in the window on the right hand side negative 25 percent which pushes it over just to here so that's a negative margin technique that actually lets it occupy the margin created by the main content isn't that bizarre and then um, with the left column she does the same thing she floats it left copy paste and then does a margin to the left copy paste but the margin to the left this time is negative 100 percent okay file save and then refresh in the browser the HTML file and now this left column occupies it goes negative 100 percent and then is able to to move up into the empty space so that's a negative margin technique and I'll show you here is all of the here is all of the CSS you've got a body here and a div here right and then this is the divs um, below okay and in the HTML you've got the HTML is the same as before got some head stuff here and then here's the the main body of the HTML right here you can see the divs right and that is the negative margin technique and I use a technique a little bit like that um, to uh, do the final um, template design that I'm going to make a Joomla template out of uh, final site design CSS styling of the Joomla template that I'm going to create